to our electronics course. In this lecture, we will analyze the motion of the electron in the second stage of the cathode ray tube. In this stage, the electron will move between two deflection plates. A plate that will deflect the electron from its motion in x direction to y direction. In the first stage between the cathode and the anode, the electron was moving just in x direction. So when the electron passes through this little hole in the anode, it will find a region with some electric field from the positive to the negative in this direction. Because of a voltage, a deflection voltage VD between the these two plates. In this case, the electron, which was moving initially in x direction, will be affected by the force exerted by the electric field in the y direction. So it will be, it will be deflected towards the positive plate, or attracted by this positive plate. So instead of moving just horizontally in x direction, it will deflect toward the positive plate. So, to get our uh, uh, motion, motion equations, which I mean the velocity in x, the displacement in x, the velocity in y, the displacement in y, I must make some assumptions to follow to get these four equations. I have two assumptions. First, the electron always starts at the origin. Just as we made between the cathode and the anode, we will do the same here. This is the point at which the electron enters the plates, so I will assume that this point is the origin. This is y and this is x. So at, e, at t equal to 0, at time equal to 0, the displacement in x is equal to 0, the displacement in y is equal to 0. I will also assume also that the electric field is uniform. Constant does not depend on the, on the distance or the time. And equal to the deflection voltage Vd over the distance d between the two plates. Okay. When uh, in stage one we assume that the electron starts at rest, but here it's, it's not the case. Here the electron was initially accelerated between the cathode and the anode. So when, when it reaches the anode, it, it already has some initial velocity in the direction of x. But it has no motion in y direction. So I can assume that the, the velocity in y direction is equal to zero. So v not y is equal to zero at this point. So this is the initial condition for the speed in, in y direction. How about the speed in x direction at this point? Okay. We agree that the electron has some initial velocity in x direction due to the acceleration of the anode. So let's compute this velocity. From the very first stage, I know that the displacement in x has some equation or relation to the time according to this formula. Also, the speed in x has some equation or relation to the time according to this formula. QVA over m. DCA is the distance between the cathode and the anode multiplied by the distance of time. I can uh, make some squaring for this equation and have theta be, uh, t square in uh, as, a, as a value of t square and substitute by this value in this equation to have a relation between the velocity and the distance. So I can get this equation relating the velocity in the direction of x and the displacement in the direction of x. To get the velocity at this point, which is the anode, I know that the distance traveled by the electron at this point will be the distance between the cathode and the anode. So I just substitute this value x by dCA. So vx at x equal to dCA is equal to the square root of 2 uh, the charge of the electron is the acceleration voltage over m multiplied by dCA over dCA. This, this will cancel each other, so the velocity in x 
at this point, which can be considered the, the initial velocity in x direction is equal to the square root of 2 qe va over n. Okay. Now let's calculate the, <coughs> the, 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 the four equations relating the displacement in y by the, uh, and, the, and the time, the velocity in y and the time, the displacement in x and the time, the, the velocity in x and the time. Okay. When the electron moves between these plates, between these two plates, it will find an electric field in the direction of minus y. This will exert a force, electric force, in the direction of y, calculated by this formula. The two negatives will cancel each other, so Fy is, will be equal to QVD over V in the direction of y. So the force will be in the direction of y. So it will push up or deflect up the electron towards the positive plate. Okay. Any force is equal to mS multiplied by the acceleration. This is a force in the direction of y, this is the acceleration in the direction of y. And the acceleration is just the derivative of the velocity of y with the time. From these two terms, I can get the velocity by integrating both sides. So the velocity in y will be equal to the charge multiplied by vd over m d multiplied by t. But let's have constant c1. I know that at t equal to 0, the electron was here, was just moving in x direction. There was no velocity in y direction, so at t equal to 0, v0 y, y equal to 0. So vy will be equal to q vd over m d t plus 0. Now to get the displacement in the direction of y, I know that vy equal to the derivative of y by dt. So this quantity will equal to this term, multiply both terms by dt, and take the integration. The displacement in y will be equal to this constant multiplied by t squared plus another constant c2. Again, from the initial condition, at t equal to 0, the electron was here at the origin, at 1 equal to 0. So, to calculate c2, both here 0, both time 1 also equal to 0, so 0 equal to 0 plus c2, so c2 is equal to 0. Now we have an equation for the velocity in x direction. And we found that the velocity in x direction is constant. There is no force in x direction to change this velocity. So the electron will keep its component of velocity in x direction as v not x, without any change. We have another equation for the velocity in y direction, but this time it's proportional to the time. We have an equation for the displacement in y direction. This is one equation left, the displacement in x. As we did for y, we will do for the x displacement. We know that the velocity in x is equal to constant, is equal to the derivative of x by the t. So multiplying both sides by dt and take the integration, x will be equal to v not x constant t plus c3. Again, at t equal to 0, x equal to 0. So x equal to v not x t. So we have, we have now the complete picture. We have four equations, one for the velocity in x, the velocity component in x direction, it's constant. The velocity component in y direction, the displacement in y, the displacement of x. There is one last thing we should do. We should determine the equation of the motion, which is usually an equation that relates the coordinates of the particle to each other. The coordinates, I mean x and y and z. Of course, in this case, we have only two coordinates, x and y. The motion is uh, uh, has no has no component in that direction. So in the next lecture, we will determine this equation that relates x to y.